Hi everyone, welcome back for today's story. I'm really excited because I thought I didn't have any more books about water or the ocean or anything and then I found two more. So we're gonna read one of them today. This one is called Starfish, Star of the Sea. And this is by Connie and Peter Roop. They wrote the words and it was illustrated by Carol Schwartz. So Carol did the pictures, Connie and Peter wrote the words, Starfish, Stars of the Sea. Oh, I love these pictures. Under the sea, along the shore, live hundreds of starfish on the ocean floor. Oh, I heard some rhyming. Did you hear the rhyming? Starfish who live on the ocean bed are purple, orange, brown, and red. More rhyming. Look at those different kinds of starfish. Well, those look like four completely different kinds of starfish, don't they? Okay, listen for more rhyming. A starfish can be hard to see. Its colors hide it from an enemy. Ooh, so that's how starfish try to stay safe. They use their colors to kind of blend in to their surroundings. So maybe the, the, its enemies won't see it if it's hiding there. Starfish bodies have no bones, so starfish can crawl into hidden homes. So it looks like this starfish is crawling into these rocks. Even if enemies do attack, starfish are lucky. Oh, that fish is eating one of his arms. Oh no, but it says, Starfish are lucky, their arms grow back. So here the fish is eating one of the starfish's arms, but guess what? Starfish can grow a new one. That would be handy to be able to do that, huh? A starfish arm is called a ray. A spot on its tip tells night from day. So it's kind of like eyes that they have on the tips of their uh, arms or rays is what they're called. Suckers help starfish walk and crawl and cling tightly to shells or a rocky wall. So they have sort of like suction cups underneath their arms that help them kind of crawl along or climb. Rays are like fingers. They touch and they feel as starfish hunt for a shellfish meal. Oh, he's getting ready for some lunch. A starfish holds a shellfish tight, then pulls it open with all its might. So this, these look kind of like some of the shells that we saw when we were looking at my seashells. Well, the starfish is gonna try to pull it open and eat what's inside. Starfish eat without any teeth. Their mouths are hidden underneath. So underneath the star part is where their mouth is. You can't see it if you just look at them. Starfish are sometimes called sea stars. That's their other name. But whether you call them starfish or sea stars, their lives are just the same. And there's a starfish right there. I know, um, well, the zoo isn't open now, but when it is open, there's that one part where you can go in, it used to be able to anyways, and touch a sea star. Oh, my kids always like to do that. And I remember them saying they called them sea stars because they're not really fish. We call them starfish, but their official name is sea stars um, because they're not fish. <laughs> so that is our book, Starfish, Stars of the Sea. All right, I'll see you later.